Okay, we've got a blank scene. Let's go ahead and open up our cylinder. We're gonna go ahead and go to slice, check that on, go to caps, turn that off. We don't need those. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna hit rotate, hold shift, rotate that 90 degrees. Come in here to our object settings, say 100 by 100. And then we're gonna go ahead and right click that and put a render tag, RS object tag on that. Then we're gonna grab a new material, throw that on our cylinder, open up that material, grab our max on noise, plug that into displacement, texture, text map, open up max on noise, come down here, choose turbulence, and just come here and turn the octaves up to 20. And that's all we're gonna to touch. And then we're going to just go ahead and hit redshift render view and render on this. Hit replace, nothing's gonna happen. We need to go ahead and go to the geometry tab, override that, override that, override that, set this up to like 30 in both. And now we have this really nice cool thing. We can maybe say 40. Go a little higher, pretty cool. Now let's just go in here. We've got a nice spotlight going on on this. It's an area light that's just kind of small. And I want to just add some SSS to this real quick. Open up the SSS, uh, crank that up. We're gonna make it more, let's do like a cool like red. I've been in a red mood lately. I've been playing a lot of Diablo. Uh, let's go ahead and make this like a dark gray. Maybe an orange. I always get confused. Like I wanna go back and forth between the old way and the new way now. Uh, we'll do an orange like that and we won't see too much it's not too shabby let's go ahead and make this sort of this darker darker color there we go i like that and now we can just come in here and maybe increase the scale to two and take the anisotropy up let's see if that makes those peaks kind of highlight a little bit more that makes it all kind of more see-through let's go lower that should just make those peaks hit harder yeah there we go so now we've got these kind of cool see-through-ish peaks. We'll make it a little more red. I think that'll look cool. Uh, yeah, ooh, yeah, that's looking good. Okay, so let's grab our light here real quick and zoom out here. And we're just gonna lower that down a bit. Let's zoom in here so we can see what we're doing. We're just kind of making it a little like spotlight. So it's kind of backlighting these a bit. And we'll say, uh, I think that's, that's looking pretty good. We can maybe rotate it around this way just a bit to be kind of more on this side yep and we'll come in here grab our redshift camera and make it let's say instead of 50 let's do 100 for the focal length come in here zoom in and just real quick add we're gonna go ahead since we like the way this is looking we're gonna go ahead and click these snowflakes that's gonna go ahead and bake those in hit refresh so that it actually bakes them correctly there we go and now we can move around without it recalculating our render every time and if we want it to look more like octane or something like that, you can come in here and go to view and turn your undersampling on to a completely unrecognizable level of five. There we go. Now we've got octane. Perfect. It's fast rendering, right? And that's, that undersampling's just <laughs> useless. No, I'm just kidding. Octane's fine. Um, we'll go here, undersampling, and we'll do like one. Yeah. There we go. And we just kind of are arranging this in a way that we want. Gets us kind of that view. I like that. And we'll just go ahead and add in a little bit of depth of field. So we're going to go ahead and go to our camera, optical, bokeh, set it to 2. And then we're going to come in here and use this button here. Click and click. And there we go. And now we have this really nice, cool, noisy image. Maybe 2 is too low. Let's do 3.5. Very cool. Hit render on that. And there you go.